Hello and welcome to PT Exam Prep Study Topics. Today we're going to be talking about what happens after an injury to the radial nerve in the upper arm. Now to answer this question, we need to know where the injury occurred, whether it was above or below the radial groove. Injury to the radial nerve superior to the origin of its branches to the triceps brachii results in paralysis of the triceps, brachioradialis, supinator, and extensor muscles of the wrist and fingers. Loss of sensation occurs in the area supplied by this nerve. Now here's the tricky part. If I asked you the same question, which muscles would be affected with injury to the nerve below the radial groove, you'd need to think a little bit more about the anatomy. When the radial nerve is injured in the radial groove, the triceps is usually not completely paralyzed. Rather, it's weakened because only the medial head is affected. However, the muscles in the posterior compartment of the forearm that are supplied by the more distal branches of that radial nerve are paralyzed. Are you looking for help to prepare for your upcoming exam? Head over to ptprep.ca where you can learn all about our courses. If you still have questions, shoot us an email at info at ptexamprep.ca. Thanks for joining me today.